Hey, uh, Native American icons like this totem pole behind me here at Totem Middle School are considered sacred. A bill now has that, that's been introduced would ban their use as mascots in schools across our state, but not everybody agrees, not even all Native Americans. This gentleman right here is my great great grandfather. The people of the Tulalip tribe can trace their history back at least 15,000 years. The artifacts here in their cultural center tell stories that evoke a great sense of pride. And it's amazing to, you know, to have these pictures and be able to look back on this stuff. Which is why appropriation of their culture cuts so deep. It trivializes our culture and it trivializes our people and it, you know, some of the, sometimes these images are used or can be used to dehumanize tribal people. The Marysville School District encompasses the Tulalip Reservation. It includes Totem Middle School, home of the Thunderbirds, and the Marysville Pilchuck High School Tomahawks. Recent studies have shown use of Indian icons as mascots can have serious consequences. It has a negative impact on tribal youth self-esteem, and it also has a negative impact on how outside communities see tribal communities. Now, a bill in Olympia would ban the use of Indian mascots, but Marysville is in an interesting situation. There are almost 1,300 Native American students in the district. That's about 13% of the population. And Facebook posts by tribal members show quite a bit of support for keeping the nicknames. One person posting, best mascot in the state, go Tommies. Another says, Tulalip should design a tomahawk too. Still another adds, I felt proud with the name when I was in high school. What do you say to those folks uh, here within the Tulalip community who want to keep it. We all have differing opinions, but we elect our, our tribal council to represent us. And I think that we have to let them we have to let them do that for us. He's referring to a provision in the bill that allows tribes like the Tulalip the final say on whether the mascots stay or go. Mascots aside, Ryan Miller believes that is what really matters. You know, it's about lifting up of traditionally marginalized voices, giving them a seat at the table and giving them decision making power over their representation in the greater community. The Tulalip tribe does back this bill. If it passes, however, they say they have not made a decision yet as to whether they would ask those two schools to remove the mascots. Live in Marysville, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.